Hi, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is this air energy of uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And he sits very sternly and very serious on his throne. He's holding his powerful sword and he's just very, he's looking straight at us. So with the King of Swords, this is the awareness for you to be very clear in how you communicate to others, how you express yourself. This is a card of clarity. So again, how we communicate in all forms, written form, uh, nonverbal, every way that you can communicate a message, it's going to be, you know, it can be construed in a certain way. So you have to be mindful of how you're delivering messages. The other thing with the King of Swords is this is telling you to be paying attention to facts, to the information at hand. Don't get caught up in the emotional swing or the emotional tide. Um, if you're making decisions, use what you know, use the facts, use the empirical data, and that will help you make the right decision. Your decisions, you are hoping to make a fair decision. You're hoping that it's equitable, that it's an honest decision. Um, this blade is very sharp and it gives you the power to understand all of the different um, sides of, of the issue. King of Swords is also no nonsense. There's not a lot of fluff here. Sometimes the message is this directness can be taken the wrong way because it's a blunt message. The King of Swords is not going to tolerate any nonsense, so it's an opportunity for you also to clean sweep people that do not serve you, situations or places or things that are in your way or causing little, you know, uh, little damages. So cut it out, cut the nonsense out, and, you know, use your mind and your smarts to approach situations or predicaments to problem solve. So then we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So the Seven of Cups we have, uh, this is water energy of Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And so the Seven of Cups in its upright position is about having lots of options, fantasizing, playing the what if game, visualizing, what if I did this? What if I did that? How would life be if I took that one? And it's tantalizing, it's really exciting. But sometimes it keeps you in a daydream or fantasy state and that you're not really pursuing one of these options. When it's reversed, it can be that you are deciding on an option, you're focused and you're directing your energies into achieving one of these options. So instead of it being somewhat potentially chaotic, this is changing the energy so that now you may be really ready to pursue and to track and to lead into getting one of these options. So now I'm going to choose two cards for guidance. So Taurus, we have two major arcana cards. So with this energy of directing your focus, your priorities toward perhaps one area, here's the Hermit. And the Hermit is a card of this uh, wise old man summoning and with his little lantern. And he's going to turn that lan lantern inward. He's going to use that light to be a soul searcher, to be soul seeking, to look for answers, for needing information from within. 
It's like kind of checking the oil in your car. You're getting a sense of what's going on in your life. You may be reviewing the past few weeks, the past year, your actions, what's going on, where am I right now, what's happening, and it's taking a step back. And it may be taking yourself out of chaotic situations. So I said chaos earlier. Sometimes there is chaos when we have a lot of options. And so this may be creating the space for yourself, the headspace for yourself to be able to think about things, really think about things, either through reflection, contemplation, meditation, yoga, you know, just quiet time of sitting and letting ideas and messages come to you. This is the search for truth within. So after you have thought about things, it's going to delight you because here we have the Fool. Another major arcana card. And this card signals the excitement and the arrival of a new journey, of the potential of a new thing for you. Whether that is a new relationship, whether it's a new hobby, a new opportunity in your job, a new career altogether, it's a sense of uh, wonder at this, you know, this new uh, journey that you're going to be taking, this new path. So it's exciting. And sometimes you're so excited, you just take a little bag and you think that's all I'm going to need because I'm going to let the journey lead the way. Other people may not be so thrilled. A little dog could be barking at you saying, A, either to look out, look out below, or can I come too? I'm so excited. This is taking a leap of faith. And taking a leap of faith can be scary but very thrilling. And it can be energizing and it can bring back, again, the spark. It can bring back the spark in a dating life, in a career, when you are faced with going down the path of newness, of, of picking something new. So lovely cards here. Now let's uh, choose two cards for possible outcomes. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles, a card of giving and receiving. And so uh, as you are working things out and making options, there's the sense here to be aware and to be of service to others when you are in a position to. So this week may involve for you, Taurus, that you are in a position to help someone out. Maybe you are helping them with... Uh, your time, your talents, your energies, maybe a little bit of money, but there's something here that suggests that you are in a position to help someone. If you are in a position where you need help, ask for it because more often than not, people are wanting to help. And so we have the, the King of Wands as also a possible outcome. In the King of Wands, we have this wand or fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and he sits uh, confidently on his throne, he's looking off in the distance somewhere, dressed in red. And this is about really being charismatic and powerful. It's your own personal power, Taurus. So to take charge, to make things happen, to create the opportunities, to be aware of the opportunities, to listen to people. I always get a sense with the King of Wands that there is a sense of networking and being busy and getting things done. So uh, you may be planning and network and creating your opportunities of really um, setting your new cycle, your new phase, your new beginning. After thinking about it, after really making a decision here with, with the Seven of Cups reversed, with the King of Swords, this is that you've been studying and learning your facts about this possibility. And you're using the facts to inform your decisions. And in the meantime, you could be cleaning out that which does not serve you. 
So Taurus, new beginnings, soul reflection, soul searching, helping you to get to um, a new cycle. And you know, maybe this cycle involves being of service. Maybe that's become important is to be of service in some way. Let's get some more information. This is a card for um, meditation or practice area for the week. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these. Okay. Focus on service. I think I just said that. It just came to me. <laughs> The, the, the guides are speaking to me. Focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. The duality of the six of pentacles, the giving and the receiving. We, we will need to do both in life. Let's get some more information. Spirit, emotional self. Okay. Trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. So to have trust, it's a trust in taking your leap of faith and taking your path while making decisions and problem solving with the King of Swords gets you with facts, ultimately it looks like you are soul searching and trusting yourself for how it is that you're going to create this new journey, this new path. And finally, I'm going to choose an Oracle card for love. Shuffle. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Beautiful card. Patience is a virtue. And as you take this new journey, it may require patience on your part in order for it to start, for it to begin. There may be bumps in the road. You're going to be prepared to deal with them. And, you know, with the King of Wands, he's not so patient, but he's moving things out. 